guys i just purchased 30 bitcoin three zero you heard it right now the big question is has thomas crawlo has gone absolutely mad or is he actually a genius so if you're interested as to why i just purchased 30 bitcoin into my bitcoin holding you want to watch this video from the beginning and until the end my hands are literally like shaking at this point because this is big money for me so if you're interested i'm going to explain exactly why and then you can let me know in the comments if you think i'm absolutely mental so without any further ado if you're brand new to the channel please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you're always notified when i make a new upload and go down below and call me mr spot on because i told you that this drop might come and it did and it presented an incredible opportunity to to buy bitcoin lower and we all know that it's always a good idea to dca into certain assets when the prices are crashing not when they're rallying but when they are actually crashing so when there is blood on the streets but this is all just philosophy let's just get to very important stuff that will explain exactly why did i do this and for one i really wanted to mention about solana and there was big fud going around that uh, and by the way if you haven't seen my yesterday's stream where i was trading live and we actually made some money together as a community and i gave away some cash check out it right here the big stream that i did yesterday on the cpi release so and also said that the unstaking of um 28.5 million of solana uh, by the solana foundation delegation program has been postponed so we'll see what's going to happen but they postponed it so they're not going to crush it into zero just yet but it doesn't mean it will never happen so just pay attention to these things so for now solana is safe for now now next thing is that sbf came out and said that he's sorry and put out this whole thing whole explanation of how he fucked up basically twice so yeah whatever if you're interested you can go to his twitter and read his explanation so the next thing is that ftx approached kraken as potential rescue partner but to be honest if binance said eh you know we're not interested then i don't know if it's gonna really be any different with kraken but uh tron's justin sun the ceo of tron well he's got a lot of money as well uh, was um uh, he says that he's working on a holistic solution with ftx to restore some balance in what's going on however not everyone is convinced that the tron founder has the capacity to actually bail out ftx after binance backtracked on plans to acquire the exchange the team at blah blah blah, blah believe that mr sun's statements are just a marketing stunt given that he recently acquired Huboy Global Crypto Exchange. So make it make what you want out of this. So next thing is that uh, FTX actually announced uh, the Ton, uh, Tron credit facility and they're pleased to announce that they have reached an agreement with Tron to establish a special facility to allow holders of TRX, BTT, JST, Sun and HT to swap assets from does it really mean anything? I don't think so, really, to be honest. It doesn't save the whole situation. The next thing is that EU Parliament passed cybersecurity legislation for crypto and fintech firms. And here, um, right now, they're going to be actually supposed to be reporting to the regulators about any kind of cybersecurity risks, situations, and cybersecurity incidents. So finally, we're starting to see a little bit of regulation. So all these kinds of things like FTX are going to go out into the sunset. Next thing is... Well, obviously, which is going to be a result of this whole FTX collapse. And that is that the European G20 leaders call for urgent regulation of crypto conglomerates. And this is going to be coming. This is what everybody, you know, expected after the crash of FTX. So we're going to see strong regulation. That's not really a bad thing, is it? This is actually quite positive, in my humble opinion, because it's going to open up the roads, the actual framework for things like spot ETF in the United States and institutional money inflow into crypto assets. So I don't personally see this as a bad thing. Now, Let's move on. So now, right now, we covered all the bad stuff, right? So why, Thomas, why did you buy 30 Bitcoin? So let me explain. And this is going to start really, it's going to seem a bit ridiculous. But nonetheless, watch this video till the end. First thing is right here. And before we continue, guys, on this YouTube channel, I'm showing you all the biggest trades. If I buy something, if I trade something big, I'm going to tell you. But if you want to see all of our smallest trades, all the scope trades and day trades, then you go down into the description of this video as well as into the pinned comment and join our free Discord channel where we post literally all of our trades with all the detailed explanations, targets, controls of the trades, exits. Some of the trades we take, we exit very quickly just because we see that nothing is happening. So we're cutting losses very, very fast. And therefore, this allows us to make a lot of money for our followers here in Discord. And it's absolutely free. So if you're not part of it, then you're missing out on incredible trades that you can see are done by professionals, by Crawlo team. And we've been profitable for many weeks in a row. So join us right now. We prepared some really cool trades for you for today. If they're going to play out, we're going to post them. So we're preparing some really cool trades for today. So join us right now. Link down in the description. So getting to the point of why 
did I buy 30 Bitcoin? So if we're going to see at all the biggest wallets of crypto, you know, all the biggest crypto holders, Bitcoin holders, you're going to find that most of them are actually accumulating like this guy right here. Since the price crashed all the way down to like 15,000, look, he was buying, buying at these prices right here. And he was buying a lot, 1,500 Bitcoin. So in total, like four or five thousand Bitcoin was purchased. So this is quite crazy. So why is he buying? I mean, he's been buying all along. But at this point, precisely at this price, I think that there is a very good reason. That's why I followed this guy and bought 30 Bitcoin myself for my long term. And there is a big difference between taking a long trade. I don't want to take a long trade, but because it's a leverage and I can get liquidated, etc. With my Bitcoin position, when I'm purchasing Bitcoin, in case if it goes down, I'll just keep it in my long term portfolio. So I'm not going to get liquidated. That's why instead of a trade, I actually bought it in spot and sent it to my ledger uh, wallet. So now the reason is right here, because yesterday we had the CPI release, and I'm going to get into the details of this. And the CPI came in at 7.7% when the previous reading was 8.2 and it was 8.0 expected. So you're seeing a 7.7. So inflation has gone down tremendously. So and this in turn has affected the um, actual forecast of the next Fed rate hike, which is currently 80% chance of it being only 50 basis points. And if it's going to be 50 basis points, it's going to be a signalizing Fed pivot, or at least slow down of rate hikes. And that's when we're going to see a rally in S&P 500 and NASDAQ, and therefore also in Bitcoin. So this we are going from terrible, like the dust is settling right now with FTX, potentially not financial advice, I just put in my own bunch of money into 30 Bitcoin. So I mean, I put my money where my mouth is, but I'm just explaining the reasoning here that if you remember, I showed you this graph that usually after midterms, actually, we are seeing big rallies in S&P 500 every single time for the last 60 years, it's always going up. So and this could be the moment that FTX was just this last, you know, capitulation kind of a thing. So which presented the last best price as possible, potentially, and now it's going to be only up from here. And this is again, I've been very big recently and you know me and right now seeing all these things and seeing these kinds of projections by the market I'm thinking this could be quite important but for us to identify as to whether it's going to be the case we need to actually keep watching the US initial jobless claims because previously we had a forecast of 220,000 jobless claims but it came in at 225 so we're starting to see increase in unemployment and if it's going to steadily start increasing the unemployment then the Fed is going to be forced to pivot so we really don't want this number to go down. Unfortunately, it's, it's very cynical and hypocritical, I understand. But for us Bitcoin traders, we want this number to be going up. We want us to see people start losing their jobs. And that's when Fed is going to pivot. And then this is going to definitely come to fruition. And the pivot is going to actually happen. And besides this, we also have to look at what the midterm results are looking like. And actually, as of right now, uh, this is what it's looking like. And it looks like uh, potentially... Uh, the Democrat, the Republicans might win. And we all know that Republicans are more pro crypto, like for example, Cynthia Loomis for Wy from Wyoming. So we really want to see the House being um, the US Senate and the US House to be controlled by the Republicans, not by the Democrats. And we see that the Republicans are currently leading. So uh, when the results come in, this would be also mega bullish if the Republicans actually end up winning. So this is something to pay attention to guys and girls. And also that for all these reasons, as a small confirmation, what we are seeing right now is actually look in Dixie, the dollar index, especially after yesterday's CPI, we talked about it during yesterday's stream, we saw an incredible drop in Dixie. So finally, we actually broke out of this whole formation and we are on our way to the next support which is 106 so finally we broke this incredible parabolic uptrend because of everything that i just mentioned so this is at least if it's not a good time to buy bitcoin i don't know then what is if it's going to go lower so be it i'm going to buy lower again because i have a lot of cash left but this is certainly a good opportunity for sure and remember guys if you want to be trading actively yourself or you have funds in some other exchange i would recommend to go down into the description of this video and open an account with 
bid get and you will get all these insane bonuses and this is a very safe exchange you'll get up to ten dollars in sign up bonuses you'll get also big cash back on your trading fees they also have zero percent spot fees and they are licensed in the united states which is rare you don't need to use any vpn or anything and if you deposit i recommend to deposit at least two thousand dollars because you will get within 24 hours 200 dollar bonus credited to your account and if you also deposit more than 500 dollars you will get my famous paid crypto course for absolutely free so join bitget right now get ready for all these trades and this is the exchange that i actually trust all the bitcoin i purchased i purchased on bitget as well and sent it to my ledger wallet so guys this is the current situation this is what i think let me know in the comments if you think i'm absolutely crazy oh uh, because i that's that's what i see in the market and i'm always telling you what i see so call me mr spot on down in the comments hopefully it's gonna work out if not i'm just gonna buy more but that's why i bought it in spot and not in futures and also uh, remember that here is a course that you can check out also uh, join my free discord channel we prepared some trades for you for today so join it right now if you want to trade today together with us and uh, yeah stay smart stay rich and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye